guys so this vlog is my dream dining table so me and Lewis are going to go dining table shopping and um, we are hosting Christmas dinner we're not cooking it though because no one wants food poisoning my mum and nan are cooking it then bringing it to us and we'll serve it on our like amazing dining table so we're going to go into Silverburn just now there's a really nice um, furniture shop in there and I'm going to go get fat first and foremost I'm going to go get fat and then I'm going to shop for the dining table and I'm going to just vlog this journey because I really want my dream dining table and I really believe it's in this shop so I'm just going to take it with me and yeah come dream dining table shop with me I'll do like a wee video inside and we're paying the deposit today we're going to sort the delivery the like all these things and we should have our table for if we're going to do this option then we should have the table for November so plenty of time for Christmas plenty of time to accessorize it for Christmas I'm so buzzing oh my god um it's <sighs> so we're nearly here now and I'll show you the table and chairs I can't wait oh my god so exciting just put the deposit down and purchase the table and chair. But, there you go, I don't fucking want it. But, we're sitting there, just doing our own thing, you know, hanging tables and stuff, as you do. And we knew delivery was going to be £79, right? And we're like, but then we're thinking, right, it's a, it's a big ass table, right? It's big. So we're like, right, okay. And then, 
He turns around and he's like, oh, um, do you have anyone to take up the stairs? And I'm thinking, mate, we're paying you 79 quid to take up the stairs. Obviously, fucking no. And then he's like, oh, I don't know if they'll take up the stairs. And I'm like, well, I should think so at 79 pound. Like, why would they pay someone else more to come and take our table up the stairs? Like, ah, oh, honest to God, right? Then he went and phoned somebody. God knows, right? God, I don't know who was phoning him. And then he's like, um, it's a £20 subcharge. And I'm like, so basically it's £20 more. Right? Bear in mind it's £79 already. And you're saying £20 more to lift it up the stairs. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? Like, most of it can go in the lift. We have a lift. That's the thing, we have a lift. We told the guy this. Most of it can go in the lift, apart from the marble. He's like, but it's really heavy. Like, it's, it is quite heavy. It takes four of us to get it into the showroom. Ho, ho, ho. And it was just a lack. <laughs> it's a lack of empathy. He's like, oh, but over the two years, it's like only 60 p more a month kind of thing. It's like, is it your money, hon? It's just the way he presented it as if we were kind of like ungrateful or like it was exaggerating and stuff and I'm like it's the fact we now know that there's this extra cost on a month even though in the grand scheme of things it's only like pennies it's still something like I still recommend them as a company but that's just pure like the audacity like imagine a wee granny watching her table and chairs and they're like do you have anyone to take upstairs for you that's what the 79 pounds for like what are they delivering then like you're paying 79 pounds for a van ikea will deliver a whole fucking wardrobe for 40 quid or less that is actual fucking ncf had me the problems but yeah anyway pause it down pause it down everything's plans are in motion the guy's a twat but the plans are in motion um the delivery guys are gonna get animals when they arrive let's hope i'm not awake because i'll just be sitting there going you think you are worth 20 pounds more just to lift up the fucking stairs don't you <laughs> so I, that's a rant over so the next time i vlog this it should be on boxing they build it thank god they build it because that would have really tipped me over the edge right so the next time i'll be doing this we'll have the table and chairs but you know what about i know i'm still ranting but you know what about the fact that it comes unboxed right they want 20 pound more surely it's easier to carry it upstairs when it's unboxed than it is if it was all built together so i do not get a 20 pound subcharge at all but anyway life goes on i'm now going to ikea now which is probably a bad idea because i'll end up some coffee shop for myself but here we go so next time we should have a table and chairs and that's it i'll be unboxing out revealing and then we can shop for all the accessories and stuff which will probably be a lot more fun than the situation we're right now but yeah ikea here we go that is the night before the dining table arrives between seven and ten in the morning thankfully i'm not getting up for it Lewis's. but seven in the morning who wants to be dealing with a dining table at seven in the fucking morning? I'm just finished the gym, that is why. I'm not trying to make sweaty cute. This is why I look like this, because I've just finished my workout. We're just in for the middle, I've done the painting the other night. My handiwork, and I moved the dining table into the middle of the floor uh, to get used to it, because our new table is massive and it would be into the middle of the floor. So I wanted to kind of prepare myself for seeing something in here. And it was only when we started moving things about I realised how much space we actually have in this back of the living room, like it's crazy. Tomorrow, once the dining table comes, then we're going to go shopping for dining table accessories, which I'm so looking forward to. I've not even got the table yet and planned the accessories, like typical laws, but I'm so buzzing for that to get it all like beautiful, stunning, the detail. It's all a bit detailed, so can't wait for that. Uh, but yeah, so sad that we dining table there. We've had that dining table for nearly two years. It didn't make its two-year birthday, unfortunately. Uh, but it's so unreliable. I think it was some. I can't remember wafer, wafer maybe. Um, and it's such a reliable wee table, but 
It's like, where are you? This leg has been broken since two years ago. <laughs> since it was born, it never came with the wee bits. And we've had a dodgy leg for that amount of time. It's got like so many chunks taken out of it. Yeah. And the, ta the chairs are actually still in great condition. The new table, sadly, just been going to the dump. Pretty emotional. But it's not in good condition. It's only how it gives someone with it with a dodgy leg and it could pure collapse on the wings and the family dog. So, man, sad. But we're going to just drop the camera. We're going to have our final meal and give it a wee toast to the good times, the good combos and the not so good combos that were had on that dining table. It deserves that appreciation. Then for like two and a half weeks and it's the best thing ever like I feel like an absolute queen just eating my toast on it like oh my god it is a table of dreams so without further ado check that bad boy out I honestly love it so much like it's the best thing ever so these chairs are honestly like I've said it before in previous videos but your arse smells into them it is like butter they are so soft and like this detail in the back, I don't know why, but I've always been so obsessed with like the chairs with like building. I don't actually do anything like either a chair like that. It's just about like accessorising, babies, accessorising the details. Just melt into them like I can sit here all day. Like I feel like an absolute queen, like princess vibes on a daily. This marble effect, it's so shiny, like you actually need I'll sit there. Like you actually need a specific cleaner to clean it. Uh, I tried to clean it, which is like my normal cleaner. So I had to kind of change my cleaning routine for it. Um, tables like this, you have to try to keep the shine. Um, it's a bit of a bitch to clean because you have this part here, which is very much making, like you can see just now, it's a bit smudgy. It very much needs a glass cleaner. This was just like going really dull. Um, but it turns out you actually need to buy a marble cleaner. So it's a bit of a pain because one, the table's massive and I'm only wee, so like I'm five foot two and I'm like uh, trying to clean the table. It takes about three different parts to clean it, so like you've got to do one part, then the next, then the next. So it is a bit of a pain to clean, but totally worth it. Uh, and then with the marble cleaner, it really brings up the shine again and makes it look really brand new. And then down the bottom here is also glass. I'm trying to just kind of keep it clean with like a, a dust, like a microfiber dust cloth. I try to do my best but they are it is a wee bit of a bitch to clean but when I come in here every day I forget how much of a bitch I have to clean because I absolutely love this table so much. It is a table that I have always dreamed of. I got my dream couch and then I got my dream dining table and I'm just so buzzing that uh, I'm, I can't imagine life without it now like it's like it's always been here but at the same time when I sit down every day I can't quite believe it's mine. Like, when I sit down in it, I'm like, oh my god, this is actually my house. This is my table and my house. <laughs> so, this is from Sheen. You buy these in separate packs. It has a mirror effect. And you can see there, it's like strips. And we're currently creating a design because I felt like a mirror should be central in here. But I really love this in the corner. I didn't want to put another mirror there. This was two packs, so there's about 20 up there. And I bought another four pack and I'm going to do like half of each side of the bed. I think that's kind of like beautiful mirror effect. The only thing is with the heat, it is pulling the adhesive off, which is a... We don't talk about it now, we don't want to talk about it. But I'll fix these every day when I need to because they're absolutely stunning. I think it will be such a lovely and unique feature wall. The centre of the table that I was talking about. Uh, this was £6 from B&M. I just think it's a lovely addition and it goes perfect with these. These were from the range. The candles were also from the range. Coasters and placemats were from the range as well. And then this little area. I was going to get rid of this side unit because I thought it wouldn't fit in with the vibe. But it actually looks really, really nice. I made this. I made this. Uh, it's just so glitzy. Yeah, I made that myself and I just added a little bit of trim around the candle as well, just to have them blending in together. I thought it was a really cute top. Uh, this is from Desano, Desano, I don't know, Desano, whatever it's called. Um, that 
printed plays we got this and the frame is seven pound at ikea so definitely if you're going to get these prints don't buy the frame on their website because it's much cheaper to get them in ikea for like seven pound as opposed to their 15 pound frames so we're actually wanting to get a matching one to go up in this wall because this wall is really really bare and that will tie that in these candles are from Primark. absolutely love them they will never be lit but that's the whole point they're just so nice they're like 3.50 each this is where I have been tested because usually I would opt for something that was statementy and maybe not practical. But with this lamp here, I was like, I really want it to be practical um, because I really loved this lamp I had in my vanity but it just didn't fit anywhere. And it's so good because you can use one spotlight, two spotlights, three spotlights, so like one can be facing the dining table and you just like that area, one can be facing the couch, just like that area, or one just facing the roof to give like a whole kind of lit appearance. And I think these are so good. I think it was like £20 at the range, which is a fucking bug, because then it's like three lights in one. Honestly, I amazed. Mean, all about the details in it. So, so, so chuffed with this room. I couldn't have got any better with it. I still can't believe that this is Maui Place of Heaven. I'm, I'm so, so chuffed with how it's turned out. It's just... It's everything I dreamed of, you know what I mean? Like, I can ask for a better living room and a better boyfriend for putting up with me through my crazy ideas and my crazy wants and crazy needs and taking it on board and actually going along with me with it because without him, obviously, I wouldn't be able to do it. Eh? So, shout out to Lewis. But yeah, honestly, so happy with this place. So, I hope you enjoyed this little home vlog little dining table journey remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all very soon stay safe and sassy all about that base about that base about that base no trouble yeah that base is stunning bitch to clean but aesthetically pleasing calling it the half donut it is a half donut that is what it's called and no one can tell me otherwise it's a half donut I'm really craving donuts.